so I was really thinking like, why do I work so damn hard still? Like I'm in a good spot where I can chill and I don't need to work as hard as I have been working over the last few years, ever since I decided to learn how to code. And it's been almost five years or so, maybe longer now. I have like been nonstop grind hustle. I need to work as hard as I can in order to like get to where I want to be. It's been kind of a blur because it started with learning how to code and it was me spending every moment of my free time just doing tutorials and trying to work on my projects and building my portfolio and networking and just consuming my life with programming and code. And then I, I got my first job and I worked really hard like the first year as a junior developer i took a lot of work home with me i would go home and try to learn all the stuff that i felt that i needed to learn to get better at my job and that stuff wasn't healthy and eventually i shifted my focus and i started to focus on trying to like build side hustles and make some money online and that happened a couple years ago right around the time i started this youtube channel i created a blog i hired writers for that and i tried to get that going and at the same time i was you know making videos on this channel and talking about learning how to code and trying to figure out like how I can make some money online and trying to figure out just different ways to hustle and make more money. And I've looked in all types of passive income ideas and I've just been focusing really hard and working really hard to get to a better spot. The problem is, is that I'm in that spot now. I just accepted a new job offer. I'm making crazy good money. I'm also making like extra money from the YouTube thing. All that work has paid off, but I'm still in hustle mode. I still can't snap out of it. And I don't necessarily know if I want to. And I started thinking like, why do I work this damn hard? And why have I been working so hard, even though I've been kind of in a spot where I could just chill and do my nine to five and be happy with that. And I've decided that it's like three things mostly. First thing is, is that I don't want to be poor ever again. There was people that had it worse than I did, but I didn't grow up with a lot of money. I grew up in a pretty shitty neighborhood, in a pretty shitty house. Me and my mom shared a one bedroom apartment that was like 500 square foot. And I slept on the couch in the living room area my whole life until I was almost 18 years old, a really shitty area of Miami. And I grew up around drugs and gangs and violence and all the shit that you don't want your kids to grow up in. And I grew up like that. I didn't move into like a nice house or a nice neighborhood until I was in my late twenties. And that was when I got with my wife. Before that, I lived in shitty apartments and ghetto neighborhoods. And even though I made okay money working in Vegas, I still kind of lived in those areas because it was what I was used to and I didn't have a problem with it. But you don't realize how much your surroundings affect you as a person. And living in that environment still kind of kept me poor mentally and financially because I would spend my money on stupid shit and I never really saved any money and I lived in a shithole apartment and never, you know, aspired to be any better because I was just used to what I was used to. If you live in shit your whole life and you surround yourself with shit, you'll eventually be a piece of shit. And that's kind of how I was. And I know that now I never want to go back to that. After meeting my wife and moving into a nicer place and surrounding myself with nicer people and nicer things, I realized that I could do better for myself. And I realized that like being poor was almost a state of mind rather than a financial position in my life. I refused to go back to that kind of lifestyle. I refused to be poor again. I refused to live in a shitty apartment. I refused to do that to myself. I'm also now financially literate and I have a set of skills that will produce me a decent income that won't allow me to fall back into that unless something terrible happens or I just completely, you know, fuck off and spend all my money and do stupid shit. But obviously progressing over time and learning to be better with my money and learning how to make more money will prevent me from going back to that because it's just kind of like a progression thing. And I wish I would have known this when I was younger, but I just didn't. And I'm glad that I finally figured it out. And I'm glad that I'm in the position where I'm at now. And that's one of the reasons why I work so damn hard. And I continue to work hard, even though I make six figures and I have a good salary and I have a great job. In a weird way, in my mind, I still feel poor. And I work as hard as I did to get out of poverty even though I'm not in poverty anymore. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a weird thing, but that's one of the main reasons why I work so damn hard now. And while this may sound like it has a lot to do with the first thing I said, my kids and my family 
are like a huge motivator for me. Honestly, I don't think I would have gotten to where I'm at now if it wasn't for them. I don't think I would have stuck with learning how to code if it wasn't for the fear of having to provide for my children. I probably would have just eventually dropped it because it was too hard, but knowing that I needed something that I could do for the foreseeable future and something that I can do as a job that would bring me money is what kept me focused on learning how to code. And that has kind of evolved into what's making me focus on trying to build streams of passive income and trying to make money online and trying to make more money at my job because I don't want my kids to ever be poor. I want my kids to never have to feel what it's like to you know go hungry one night or what it's like to have to hear gunshots outside of your house or the helicopter the ghetto bird going around with the spotlight shining through your window i don't want my kids to grow up in that and i work so damn hard now and i focus so damn hard on everything that i want to get to because i want to make sure that my kids never have the experience a life that i had to deal with when i was a kid i've gotten to a point now where i don't think i have to worry about that just like i mentioned like i don't i don't think i have to worry about myself being poor. I don't think I have to worry about my kids being poor, but now I'm hitting another level where I'm continuing to work extra hard because I'm hoping that I can eventually, like in the next five or 10 years, get to a spot where I'm making enough money passively to where I can provide my family with generational wealth or at least give them enough money to be set for the rest of their lives. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to accomplish that. I'm hoping that I can like talk about this stuff here and track some of that stuff because it is something that I've been working on and something that I'm trying to do. And it's what keeps me wanting to build all this stuff. And it's what keeps me wanting to work so hard because I'm hoping to get to a spot where I can spend more time with my family and where I can spend more time with my kids and I can enjoy all the nice things that we have and I can travel with my family and do more things with them and just give them the experiences that I wish I had. And I wanna make sure that I can just give them the best life possible. So I work extra hard and I stay on hustle mode and I keep grinding every day for them. Because if it wasn't for them, I'd probably be living in that shitty ghetto apartment drinking every night, playing video games, and not doing shit with my life. They keep me focused, and they're a big reason why I work as hard as I do. And the last reason why I work this hard is because I want to see how far I can go. I want to see how far I can take it. I want to see if all this work that I'm putting in will pay off, and I want to see how much it will pay off. I've already proved to myself that I can learn how to code, become a programmer, get a job, make six figures. I've done all that. I did all that over the last five years, and I can't believe I've gotten as far as I have with it, and it's still mind-boggling to me that I'm a high school dropout, and I learned this stuff in my 30s, and I'm making six figures, and making good money, and have like a great job, and benefits, and just stability, and I have money in the bank, and investments, and all these things that I never would have thought I would have had, and now I want to see like, can I 10x that? Can I can I do better? Can I keep this going and get to a spot where I'm set for life in the next 10 years if I work as hard as I've been working over the last five years? I don't wanna just settle for what I have now, even though I'm in a great position and I make great money and I'm, I'm living a really good life and we're really comfortable. I know that if I keep working hard, that I can get more. And eventually, I wanna get to a spot where I have enough and enough for me would be financial freedom, would be maybe making enough on passive income or maybe have enough investments to where I don't have to work a nine to five and then I can work on projects and YouTube and websites or whatever it is that will make me money without having to like focus on a job that will bring me all the stability that I currently have. But I'm not in that position yet. And that's why I keep working as hard as I do because I'm hoping that if I keep the same kind of focus, if I keep the same kind of hustle, if I keep the same kind of grind in the next five or 10 years, that I can get to that spot. If I was able to do so much in the last five years, and now I have like money to invest and money that I can use to start businesses and I have really good credit and I have a business and I have business credit cards and I can get business loans and I can start looking for opportunities that can make me money and I have this skill that I can use to build websites, to build apps, to outsource people that can build it and make sure that they do a good job because I actually know the technical side of things and I can find just other opportunities outside of code, outside of content, just anywhere that I can, real estate, whatever it is. Like I have 
a nice little net worth. I have liquid assets. I have investments. I have collateral and I have things that I can put up in order to make more money, which is something that I never had before. And I've only acquired these things over the last 10 years with the sale of my home and with the amount of income that I make now and, and with my credit being where it's at. Like these are all opportunities that have just started to present themselves recently. It wasn't that long ago that I didn't have any of these opportunities. And now that I do, I don't want to let go of it. And I want to see like how much further I can take it. And that's really where I'm at right now. I want to see how far I can take this. I want to see if I keep this kind of momentum and I keep going. I really want to see if I can see a million dollars. And hopefully once I do see that, I can maybe multiply that a few times and then be in a spot where I don't have to work until I'm 65 years old. I would like to enjoy my time now while I'm young and while my family is still young and not have to wait around for retirement and depend on a social security check or a 401k in order to live a happy life when I'm old and really can't enjoy it. I want to work as hard as I can now and take it as far as I can in order to enjoy this in the next 10 years rather than the next 30 years. And that's pretty much it. That's why I work so damn hard. I don't want to be poor anymore. I want to make sure that my kids and my family never have to experience the level of poverty that I had to experience when I was younger. And I want to see how far I can take this because I realize now that if I set my mind to something and I really focus hard on it, that I can really accomplish anything. All of my middle school teachers were right. I wish I would have listened when I was younger. I wish I would have listened to all those people that told me when I was a kid that I can do anything I want. But I, I didn't because I didn't believe them because of my surroundings. But now I've surrounded myself with better people and I've surrounded myself with the right equipment and the right energy to get me to where I need to be. And I'm going to get there. And I hope that you do too. And if you're working extra hard right now, let me know why you hustle so hard. Let me know what's got you so motivated to make that next dollar and what's got you so motivated to get to where you want to be. All right, with all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.